Hey you guys, good afternoon you guys. It is 10 minutes to four and your girl is in the kitchen cooking dinner. And for you in the back that don't know it, I'm Burl and this right here is my kitchen. <laughs> So you guys, today in Burl's Kitchen, we're having a traditional food. Let me tell y'all a little bit about this traditional meal that I'm about to cook because this is the last time you will see my face on this video. Anyway, today we're cooking shine rice. It's called for some people in maybe some Caribbean countries, they might say coconut rice, but we Guyanese know it as shine rice and salt fish. That's what we're cooking today. Some people might call it poor people food. I call it luxury food because this is what Guyanese used to cook when they had anything else in, in the house to cook and you just whip up some shine rice. You got some a dry coconut, you grate it. You got some coconut milk, some rice, some onions, some garlic. You got a meal. And some, if they had some salt fish or fried fish, they'll put it one side. But I've known many that just put a boiled egg next to it improvise so guys today i am gonna make a traditional traditional Guyanese dish that's called shine rice and salt fish really simple but you know in burl's kitchen we have to add some garnish to it and make it look fancy 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 so we'll also have some fried plantains next to it and of course some avocado anyway guys let's get this video popping so y'all, in that pot, you see I have my salt fish boiling and you see at the end, that's all salt. The water boiled up. So what I do is, because it's so much salt, I took the cover off because it was boiling so much, the salt dried up. I'm gonna rinse it out and put fresh water in it and boil it once more so we really get all the salt out of the fish. This is called salt fish for you that don't know. Anyway, in my salt fish, I'm going to fry that up with some onions, some garlic, some tomatoes, some green pepper, red pepper, some green onions, and some thick leaf um, thyme. So thick leaf thyme, some green onions, red pepper, green pepper, tomatoes, garlic, and white onions. This is what my salt fish is going to fry up with. And then for the simple of all simple meals, this is what the video is all about, shine rice. The only thing that goes in there is coconut, green um, onions, garlic, and of course, a pepper. So, onions, green onions, spray, some garlic, and that's about it. And a pepper, of course, rice and coconut milk, but follow the process. So, guys... Let's start cooking. Okay, you guys. So, as you can see right here, I poured all the salty water out of the fish, put some fresh water in the pot, and I'm gonna bring it back to a boil once again. While that is gonna boil, I'm gonna start frying up my veggies for the shine rice. So, I'm putting the pot on, and I'm gonna pour some oil in there so it could get nice and hot. And we're going to fry up our veggies, put the rice in with the coconut milk, and let this cook on really low fire. Okay, you guys, I have the oil in the pot. It's nice and hot. Now, I'm going to add the onions and garlic. Guys, remember, you never add your pepper when you're frying up your vegetables because it could burst. And if you're not a person that likes hot, you're gonna mess your entire meal up. So just take your time. And I normally throw mine in when I put the rice in and the water and everything. That's when I add it. So in here, guys, and you guys should smell this. It smells, oh, delicious. You know, the onion, the smell of fried onion, caramelized onion and garlic. That's what we're smelling right now 
So I'm gonna have this fry a little bit and then I'm gonna add the only seasonings that I'm adding in here guys because I added so much fresh onions and garlic is um, all purpose seasoning, some aromat and some chili and of course some salt. We don't need a whole lot. Like I told you guys before, this is a very simple meal. It does not need a whole lot. So we're gonna have this fry up a little bit. Okay, you guys, if you look in the pot, you see the onions are frying nicely. They look nice. So now what I'm gonna do is add some, add the seasonings. I have some chicken powder. I'm adding one teaspoon of chicken powder in there. Some all-purpose seasoning. You just add to taste, guys. Some all-purpose seasoning. Some aromat. And of course, some black pepper. Black pepper, you guys, and salt. And when you add your coconut milk, guys, then you taste it again. See if it needs more salt. And you could add like a cube or something to it. We're gonna stir this up. And then we're going to add the rice to the pot. So we want to fry the rice a tiny little bit before we add the coconut milk. And this is what that looks like. So now, you guys, I'm going to add the rice. Of course, guys, wash your rice. I know we all know by now how to wash rice. I washed my rice until the water was clear you put your rice in a bowl and you wash it under the sink wash 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 until you get that last clear water and then your rice is washed i like all my rice guys sorry we're not wasting anything over here So we're going to stir this up now and fry it up a little bit. And then all we got to do is add the milk. That's how simple this is. And you let it cook, guys, like normal rice. That's it. That's all. So we're going to fry this up a little bit and turn the heat up so it could fry a little bit. This is what it looks like, nice and clear, because we don't want no color or anything, it's just shine rice. That's why all we want is shine rice, a nice, clear colored rice. And we're gonna let that fry a little bit, and then I'm gonna add my milk. If you listen closely, let me stop stirring, you could hear the rice frying. That's what you wanna hear. Once it's frying now, stir it up. Make sure you're not sticking at the bottom. Get everything loose out from the bottom before you pour in your milk because your food is gonna start burning before you even start cooking. So make sure you loose up your bottom really good. And then you guys pour in your milk. If your rice is nice and fried, and guys, I'm using canned coconut milk, canned milk, coconut milk. So I'm going to pour my coconut milk inside right now. Stir it up. Stir it up and I'm going to add another can because this is not enough 
to cook this rice, so I'm just gonna add another can to get it a little bit loose. One more can, there we go. So guys, I added two cans of coconut milk. As you can see, this is my rice. This is what it look. Not too much water because you don't want your food too soft. So what I'm gonna do right now is taste it, make sure it has enough salt and then I'm gonna cover it down. And no, I didn't add no water to it because it's not needed. It's shine rice, it's coconut rice, so you want to taste the coconut flavor in it. Put all the rice back. You got rice sticking to your food. Put it back. I keep telling y'all, we wasted nothing over here. Put it all back. Mm-hmm. And now... We're gonna taste, see what we need. Actually nothing, tastes pretty good. So now we're gonna turn it down and let her steam. So guys, this is what she looks like. Not too much water, just right, the water, the coconut milk, right together with the rice right here. So now we're gonna let her steam. So I'll be back at you when I'm turning her. This is what she looks like. And we're gonna let her steam. Now I'm putting her on a very low fire, very low. So we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, salt fish done boiling. I boiled it twice to get the salt out of it. And even though you boiled it, guys, now we're gonna wash it out with a little bit of vinegar guys we don't wash our meats and our fish with bleach and soap and all of that we wash them with lemon or vinegar any type of fish salted fish fresh fish wash them with lemon and vinegar i pour a little bit of vinegar over it just to get all the rankness out of it i hate the i i, I even hate the thought of rank so for me to smell it in my food that's not gonna work. So I just pour the vinegar over it. I'm gonna rinse it out. And then we're going over there and we're gonna fry it up. Okay, you guys, I have my oil getting heated in here for fish, salt fish. I don't know, for some reason, I like a little bit more than normal oil in it. So the oil is getting hot and we're gonna add our vegetables to the oil. Onions, garlic, tomatoes, red pepper, green pepper, green onions, and everything in the pot. Stir it up and just let it fry, guys. Just give it a while and let it all fry up. So, you fry it up nice. Let it fry up and then we'll continue. Okay, you guys, a little trick that I think I told you guys before. If you feel like your water is gone in your rice pot, but you still have some hard seeds in it, put a plastic over it and let it steam. Do not add water to your pot. So we're gonna put two plastics over it and let that baby steam on low the lowest your pot can go you let it steam open out the plastic as much as they can and there we go so this is what it looks like and then Cover it down. Cover it down. You see that? 
I'm not sure. Yeah, you see. So the plastic is in it, cover it down, and you could forget about that. The fire's on the lowest it could be. And now we're gonna focus on our salt fish. Put the camera down a little bit so you could actually see in the pot. And as you can see, my veggies are frying. So I'll just let them fry a little bit more because once your fish go in, guys, your salt fish doesn't need a lot of frying up. So we're going to put this here and let it fry up a little bit more and then go from there. Let it fry and then we'll add the seasoning. Okay, guys, our veggie is frying up nicely, as you can see. Now I'm going to add some chili powder. Some chili powder. Y'all know we got to get something chili up in here. Put some pepper, some chili powder, some aromat. Mm-hmm. Some all-purpose seasoning. Everything is in here that you need. Some black pepper and some salt. So guys, my camera died. I'm sorry. But in here we have chili powder, complete seasonings, um, all-purpose seasoning. We have some aromat, some black pepper. And I hadn't added salt yet because I wanted to taste the salt fish first. Because remember, it's salted fish and you can't add too much salt. So this is the one time, you know what? I'm still gonna sprinkle a little bit that way. I don't think I have to add more in it because we washed out, well, I washed out all the salt out of it so that I could put my own amount of salt. So I put a little bit of salt in here, guys, just for flavor. And now I'm gonna add the fish. All of it. So even though your rice doesn't have any kind of veggies in it really, and here you still got some tomatoes, some peppers. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's still something. And as you can see, this is what my fish actually looks like. And I'm gonna let it fry up because nobody wants some wet salt fish. So the tomato gave it some color, so I didn't have to add no more color in it. So, let us have it fry a little bit, not too long, guys, and then taste it. And that's it, salt fish. Okay, you guys, like I told you guys, we're not frying the fish too long. So, this is it, because that's the reason why we fried up our veggies and the fish was boiled. This is it, we're gonna turn it off now and wait for our rice to finish. Okay guys, our rice is well cooked, nice and done. We got some loose grains in here. It's not soft, just cooked just right. Rice is done, nice and clear. Now we're just gonna fry some plantains, garnish it with fried plantain and avocado. I'm gonna put the rice here to cool out while I fry the plantain and we will be right back. So you guys, as you can see, this is our meal. We got some shine rice, some salt fish, that's the pepper right there and some plantains, we got a glass of juice and a bottle of water, whichever one you wanna drink. Guys, I am done cooking and I'm about to eat, y'all. But I just wanted to say thank you guys to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I've seen a lot, about 10 of you guys. Thank y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, please continue to like, share, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Guys, we on the road to 500 subs. Come on, y'all. Let's do this organic. And let me know what you want to see me cook. I'm right now on a real simple, real fast, and real easy dish cooking spree right now. So let me know what you want to see. 
Anyway, have a blessed day, y'all. I'm about to eat. Bye. <laughs>